Moose here, and today we're going to be talking about a tax bait in Pokemon Unite. There's been a lot of work that the community has put in, especially from Darts, Icarus Twine, Circa, Lazadin, the Unite API, Unite-DB, the Math Chord, Math Chord contributors, and everybody else. And this specific article was compounded by Quirrell. So thank you very much, Quirrell, for all the hard work and everybody else has done for this. Tech speed has been something that we've been working on as a community. Not me personally, but lots of people. And this document will be in the comment section in case you'd rather just go through like that. But as a TLDR of all the base information here, attack speed is a five digit number. And that five digit number can be represented as a percent. So all Pokemon have 10,000 that at level zero. And that is equal to 100%. You can just write it out, put a period between the third number and then add a percent. And that's how you dictate what the attack speed is. And Pokemon all start with about 10 to 15% attack speed, even at level one, except for Charizard, because he doesn't really gain attack speed when he levels. So you can dictate that every Pokemon will be having about 110% attack speed at level one. It's really nice to be able to see a full list of attack speed for all the Pokemon, how they scale, what levels, you know, would be more impactful for them to gain. Do they get a lot of attack speed from evolving? Probably. It's just nice to be able to say, okay, this is how much power they have at this point in the game, instead of just me level, me attack faster. So we're going to probably skip most of the beginning part. Uh, the game is run at 60 FPS. So as an example, if your attack speed was 60 frames, so you could attack once every 60 frames, you would have a one attack speed per second. And they've done a little bit of testing on the exact attack speed. And if, you, if you combine like Cinderace, level 15, X attack, casting the ultimate, or Unite, sorry, using Blaze Kick and having Muscle Band at level 30, you would get a 16 frame attack speed, which is in this bracket here. But the, the thing is, the higher you go with attack speed, the the bigger the bracket will be. Uh, so if you want to get like a one frame attack speed, for example, you need like, I don't know, 6,000% attack speed because the base is 0% for 60 frames, if that makes any sense. So the higher you want to get your attack speed, the more you have to stack it. So it's possible that using the equation and, you know, doing the math out, if you were stacking everything except for muscle band you might actually not get a faster attack speed you would get the muscle band effect which would be very nice for a very high attack speed but you might not get the full benefit of the attack speed because you're in the same bracket if that makes sense now we're going to show you that some characters actually have a little bit higher attack speed so you can see the full list here is going to go through the top Aegislash actually has 15%. And he might be the only one that starts at 15. Charizard starts at 0 because he doesn't gain attack speed, which is a little sad. It would be funny to see him breathe fire a bit faster, but he's a good boy as he is. He's got a good crit. He doesn't, he doesn't need it. He doesn't rely on it like everybody else. But as you can see, somebody like Cinderace would get up to 140% attack speed. Now, that's not adding the 100% base. So this would actually be 240% at level 15. If we take a look, you can see the evolution levels. You get some nice bumps and attack speed. You get like 10 there. In the next evolution, you get about 18%. So the evolutions is where you're mainly getting the attack speed stat. But once you get to nine, you have 60%. And there's only what, seven more levels to go? So that's over doubling your attack speed from when you get your Unite to hitting 15. So that puts more in perspective of, okay, levels are actually more important than even I thought. I was like, oh, you get attack, you know, you do get attack speed, but I don't really know how much, so it's hard to say. You get some defenses, some health, what, you know, you might get your, your moves upgraded, but what else point is there? But now you can see, oh, yeah, attack speed. That's really good on an auto attacker who crits. That's really important. So we go through, you can see the other ADC Decidueye actually gets less attack speed at 120. Yguinanjar also has 120, so Cinderace has more attack speed. 
uh, as a whole at level 15. Rox actually gets 40%, that's a bit funny. Mamo only gets 30. Uh, you can look through this list yourself. I'm not going to go through the entire list and every single percent at each level. You can see what level your Pokemon will, you know, where do they start getting their massive scaling from. Like Decidueye 6 to 7, of course. After that, it's not too much until you start hitting like 11s and then you get like 10% each level, you know. You can look through that yourself. Some of them have some notes like uh, Pikachu doesn't actually gain any scaling. Gardevoir doesn't get any scaling on attack speed from leveling, though they do benefit from Muscle Band. As another note, just before I move on from this section, um, Muscle Band doesn't always give you the full effect of 7.5% because of how the, you know, the framing works. You might only get, like, what feels like 3% uh, benefit from Muscle Band because if you're at 200% attack speed and then you add in the muscle band effect, you're not really gaining like 7.5%. You're only getting kind of more mathematically like 3.25%. So you can take that into consideration. The muscle band, the attack speed part isn't as good as we always thought it was, but it's still attack speed. And it's more beneficial the lower your level is, of course. It scales better like that. Because of the reason that these are additively added as uh, effects. So I'm going to go through the list of effects so everybody will know those. And I'm going to be talking about each one. So effects are additive. It seems like the reductions are multiplicative. So if it's a negative 30%, that's multiplicative, but it's a positive, it's additive. I guess so that way things don't get too out of control is what they were saying. So we start at the top here, muscle band. I mean, you don't really need to use the equation for it. If you know you've been playing Unite for a while, level 30, 7.5%, level 25%, level 10, 2.5%. I, I think I might be a little wrong, but the equation is level divided by 2 times 0.5%, or 0.50%, I think is what it is. 0.5 would maybe get you a different answer. I don't know. And in a text, X attack, everybody knows plus 25%, and it's additive. So that, it, it, it does feel like a lot, though, when you're in game. It feels like a very good stim. Slow smoke, though, I didn't realize it was minus 30%. That's actually really good. Because you can hit a lot of people with that. So that, that, that'll, if they're, you know, on auto attackers, that's effectively like a 30% damage decrease. Ki kind of. Because it seems to be multiplicative for the mo uh, negative modifiers, which I think there's only like one, a couple, which later on, like Pikachu. Unite move is plus 35%. Some people have known that for a little while now, but it's nice to know. Be popular Unite, whether you use it or cancel it, just to get the effect is 35% attack speed. Absol Sucker Punch actually gives them a 40% attack speed buff. That's really nice. I did not know it was that high. Lissy Helping Hand is 35%. That's a really nice baseline. Feels like a lot once you get it, so nice to know it's 35%. So if you like combine it, Lissy Helping Hand, with X attack on Cinderace at level 7, you're probably looking at like, say level 7, right? With a Blissey, that's like 148, it's like 210% attack speed or so, without any other items, so that's really good. Something like that. Cinderace Blaze Kick is actually a 20% modifier. But, and then once he gets to Blaze Kick Plus, which is a big level, 65%. That's one of the most insane modifiers in the game, apart from Dragonite. Decidueye Basics is 3% per stack. He gets a little bit of attack speed each time he has a stack. I really wish in the future, hopefully, they'll buff it to where Razor Leaf will give him all of his stacks right away. I would love to see that. That would be fantastic. And interestingly enough, uh, he gets 25% from Leafage. Razor Leaf, he actually has an, a formula for this. So say at level 1, he only gets uh, like 22% attack speed, I believe. But at level 15, he would get 36% attack speed after popping Razor Leaf. So that's interesting to see. Dragonite Dragon Dance is 80%. I know it's a, it, it's a lot, but he, it, that's an insane amount of attack speed. Too bad his base attack speed isn't enough to make, that, make him like a machine gun, but... He does attack really fast. He does have some okay scaling for an all-rounder, so 
with if you had like uh, more attack speed with crits, he might actually be a contender for like an ADC. Funny enough, that'd be really funny to see. Garchomp basics from stacks, he gains more attack speed as well. So you get up to like this is multiplied by three percent. At fi level fifteen, he would get forty-two percent plus twenty-eight. That's seventy percent. So he also gets really high attack speed. Oh, he does have 55% as an all-rounder. He deserves it. He deserves it. My champ bulk up 40%. That's really, that's a lot more than I thought it was. And you get that as a starter move, so that's really nice for fighting some people. I know when I used to play my champ, I would use bulk up in the next attack, and you would be punching people like crazy at level 0, a level 1, or whenever you'd be fighting level 3. Submission gives him 50% attack speed. Submission plus is 60%. Wow. It's actually crazy. I think that might be only during the move specifically, but if not, that's a really big modifier for an all-rounder. Kind of like Dragonite. Nine Tails gives her 15%. Not bad. It, it, it actually feels like a lot more when you're machine gunning people in it, but that's nice to have. Pikachu Static, Pikachu Shock Ball, uh, Thunder Shock, and Pikachu Electro Ball. All of those decrease by 10%, which isn't too much, but as uh, from what I understand from what they're saying, a minus 10% like this is a all around decrease of multiplicative. So if they have like 300% attack speed, minus 10% would be like not minus 10, it'd be th minus 30%, for example, because it's multiplicative. Slow smoke, for example, would slow somebody who's at 300% by 90%, I believe. Yeah, but uh, overall, it'd be minus 30%, but. With the formula, it would be minus 90% from their total. Triple, uh, Serena's Triple Axle also has some nice scaling. Not not too much. Level 15, it's like 21% plus 4%. So it's like 25% attack speed level 15. Doesn't scale too much, but not much base either. But it does feel like a nice dip big deal when you're actually using it so there's that i think each hit also gives you a stack so this might go three times so it might be up to 40 45 percent or whatever Thor agility and vault switch is both 45 percent it's very good it's sad to, s to see that his spark doesn't give him any attack speed he's by a lot of people's standards very low tier so i i think they could probably add it to where spark also gives him attack speed and then people can play spark with um mall charge and that'd be fun to see. But his boosted auto attacks lower his attack speed by 25%. I don't actually know if that's true, but that is true. I believe them on all this, so that's kind of weird that he gets a slower attack speed on his boosted auto. I think his boosted auto heals him, but kind of messed up that, you know, a mechanic of a character makes him attack slower. It does hit pretty hard, though, there's that. And that's everything. So, again, thank you to everybody here in this list. And thank you for helping me make this video a thing. I've been really curious about attack speeds for a long time. You know, it's always nice to put everything into perspective of a character and see how strong they are when you, you know, factor in their attack, special attack, stuff like that. We can have a more definitive answer on their kits with all these numbers now. And hopefully the Unite DB will add in the scaling for all the attack speeds so when you're on the website you could just go through and it'll give you the list of attack speeds that'd be nice anyways thank you all for watching and have a good one bye bye